two, three, four. Blocking day. Blocking day. Hello, my dear knitters. Uh, today is a blocking and washing day, and I wanted to show you how I wash my knitwear and what I use and everything. Today I have three pieces to wash. I am thinking that this one I will wash separately and probably this will go first, this will go after on the same water probably and third one I will do separately. Then um, I put here already water. I'm using my sink. I, I found this the best way for me you you can find your way uh, then water water is maximum 30 degrees remember that our body temperature is 36 then water can't be feel warm water need to feel cold like not cold from from fridge but it can't be uh, very warm on your on your skin then almost your skin temperature then uh, what I use for wash it's a special product for wool I've got it from Waitrose and it's called cashmere and wool wash then I think you can find in any supermarket the product for wash your wool and it's always a good idea if you have uh, high quality uh, wool to wash it properly with a proper product because we don't want all that job we had to knit uh, just ruined by, by some uh, not proper wash. Okay, here is my product and you probably can find something very similar. You have some instructions here but I usually I usually take a little bit of it just measure with a oops my camera is oh you, you should see my setup it's very funny. I put it in I mix it in water and then I take my piece this is a jumper I've done for myself this is a mix of uh, uh, alpaca wool with uh, I think merino this was a yarn and corn wonderful looks very nice beautiful colors and I just go and sock it in this way uh, look we don't do nothing else we just sock it in the water and uh, usually when it's um, corn yarn sometimes it's uh, covered with some product and we need to wash it probably sometimes even more than once to take that product and keep the yarn, uh, high quality yarn is open and it becomes soft and fluffy and beautiful but this is the, the subject for other videos which uh, which are coming and uh, actually this this is all what you need to do i just i just leave it now for 10 15 some people leave it for 20 30 minutes it's it depends of you I don't think you need you just snug it inside with your hands and don't do nothing for now because on the uh, when we will block it we will try we will, I'll show you what I do to make my stitches all even and beautiful and for now I will leave it here and then I'll take it away and put my red one in and do the same for like we'll soak it for like 10 minutes and after this I, I will come back and show you what I do next here we go Christmas jumper going in First 
that one was already done. Why I put more hair jumper uh, after? Because it's red and red usually look can dye your water and you never wash something red with other colors, especially if it's light colors. You wash it separately or do like me. Always go on the last Right, my time is over. I left it to soak. You see my red dry the water. But this is not a problem because we will not use this water anymore. Now we need to rinse it a couple of times in the clean water. And you just take as much you can with your hands. What I usually do, I use my second part of my sink and a bit of water, just a little bit of hot and mostly uh, cold water. And I rinse it this way. I will do this first, my first one. And I start to do this. And then I just take water and container with a new water. Because we need to wash all this um, all this soap out of it. With me. Yeah my camera here we go swimming pool I take away a little bit more I know what you deal of course I hope I didn't break anything then I feel that I think it's enough for this one. Not okay. I take it out and put the red one. You do a couple of times. When you have a lot of water, it's easier to do. When you have small piece, it's much easier. When you when you wash baby thing, it's much easier. There you go. Sorry for noises, but I promise I will show everything, and then you will not have any questions about it. And you will never ruin any high quality piece. Lot of work. Nobody would like to ruin it. I'll I'll tell you the story about my jumper. How I ruined alpaca jumper. that involve some sewing as well later. Then okay. I will not I will not keep you for now. But uh, no, I will. Because I'm in finishing here. This was enough. We close the water. It become kind of out of shape. But it's all right, don't worry about it. Because what I usually do, I'll take this out now. Just take excess of water, very gentle. This way, 
just press it as much as you can because you will still have a lot of water anyway. And I put it back on my this one as well. Oh, I forgot I have a third one. <laughs> Then basically after this, I spin it in my machine because if not, it will take ages for dry. Let me leave it here, do my third one and we'll come back to you. Right, here I, I am. Uh, and a washing machine actually my machine have a, let me see let me yes the have a wool uh, you see program and I used it and it's okay and I definitely <laughs> next time this last jumper this one I will put in the machine because it's very um, heavy and take uh, all, all that um, water then all my three jumpers are in machine I have a spin program turn it on and then usually they recommend to uh, change the rotation per minute you hear then we have 1200 which is quite high and I'll go to 800 some people prefer 500 but you know I I will leave it for on 800 and start I'll see you after this for the next step right here I have my towel on the mat on the floor I'm on the floor I will show you on the example of this one because it's uh, quite light color and easy to see then first thing what we do because this one is almost dry then what I will do I will start pushing it first this side guys I can't see where I am and then this side this will make all our stitches nice and even look at this how it looks nice then surely uh, it was a hard work sleeve you go careful <laughs> because gentle but quite firm you can see you don't do this on your cuffs cuffs you can just pull this way And then we do it this way, then we pull it this way, go ahead and use your muscles but gently, don't damage your <laughs> knitwear. And then sometimes I do like on diagonal, basically you stretch it in all directions and then you're You need to wear looks perfectly. You give it a shape. Stretch well your cables. Everything. Pull it nicely. High neck. What is this? What is this music? Somewhere, guys. It's not in my house. We just want all stitches even and beautiful. And then we put it, lay it, give it a shape we want. If you have uh, the proper, uh, uh, what is it, mat? You know, it exists that mats, 
uh, soft when you can pull and give it a shape you want and then just fix it with a with a little needles don't use machines which have automatic dry because if it start drying you will lose your piece then uh, I have more three to do I'm out of breath <laughs> because I'm out of shape and this was a kind of hard hard job but I will stop now and basically you you put your piece evenly and await it to dry and you're ready to go I hope it was useful I'll see you in the next video thank you for watching don't forget to like subscribe and uh, see you next video